Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you guys how you can make a simple health pickup. Now this health pickup is going to have a really cool particle system and it's also going to sort of spawn this particle system on the player as well um, and we're going to have a little bit of sound in there as well. It's going to be really really cool. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it and if you wanted to you could even go ahead and do the same thing for your magic or your mana as well which is pretty cool so let me start off by showing you the particle effect that I'm going to be using and the one that I'm going to be using is one of the healing ones from the infinity blade assets and you can see that I've got these um, all of these different sort of things that I've got here so the one that I'm actually going to be using for is this one here which is going to be sort of in the game itself you're going to see that there and then we've got one here for heal target and this is going to be spawned on top of the player just the once and it's going to disappear after that so Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you exactly how we're going to create this. So first things first, we're going to go over to our blueprints folder and then from there we're going to create a new blueprint class. And then with a type we're just going to set this to actor and we're just going to call this health pickup for now. And then once we've done this, we're going to open it up give it a couple of seconds to load up and then from there we can start putting in the physical components and then after that we're going to add in all the programming you know the blueprint good stuff afterwards so first things first what I'm going to do is add a particle system on the right hand side in the details panel we need to go ahead and select the particle system we want to use so go to effects and then ability heal and then the one that I'm after is simply just aura so just with this selected just go ahead and drop that in there and then if we now go and drop this blueprint into our scene we should be able to see it so let's take a quick look so health pickup drag it into the scene there if I press play you should be able to see it floating in space and it looks really really cool now what we need to set up is the actual collision for this at the moment because when you walk over it it's not going to do anything so let's show you how we can do that now the easiest and the simplest way to do it because particle systems don't really have collision is you could have a trigger volume or a box collision instead once again this is going to be transparent as opposed to using a static mesh and what I'm going to do is just going to make this the full size of my little love heart that we've got here and then from here what we're going to do is go over to event graph and then on actor begin overlap we are going to use this and then from this we're going to drag it out and all we're going to do is pretty much just change the player's health variable but before they do do that what I want it to do is check to see what the player's current health is because if it's higher than the maximum value already I don't want them to be able to pick it up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to branch and then from here I need to get a condition now as you can see in this blueprint I don't currently have access to uh, the player's health so what I need to do from this is I actually need to cast to the third person character so go ahead and do that and then hook this up and now as the third person character get that reference to the player's health and the condition then for my branch what I'm looking to do is check to see if they've got the maximum value for health already so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if it's greater than you know one so our zero being our minimum and a one being our maximum so I'm going to do float greater than and then what I'm going to look for is one and I'm going to hook up the health to this so what it's going to do now then if it is greater than that we're going to tell it to do nothing but if it isn't meaning it's below what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to set uh, the health so we need to get another reference to this so set health over here like this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to do float plus float so it's essentially just adding on a little bit of health onto the player and the amount that I'm going to do that for is 0.2 so that's 20% of the player's maximum health and in the top one just get a reference to the player's health value that we've got there and then from this we are going to spawn an emitter on the character to actually give it a bit of a feedback uh, just to tell the player that they've picked it up 
It's entirely optional, it's not something that you have to do. You could leave it at this. So what I'm going to do first though, is I'm going to add one more branch quickly to check to see if the player has then gone over the maximum value. Because if it has, I want it to just set the maximum health, the health to, you know, the maximum. We don't want it to go up to 1.2 or anything like that. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to type in uh, float, and if it's greater than 1, whoops, so if the float's greater than 1, getting the return value for this. Then what we're going to do it, we're going to tell it to do is to simply set the health again. And we're just going to set it to 1. Set health. And then we're just going to set this to 1. Just like that. So. Cool. So that's all the logic for that. Let's go ahead and spawn this emitter now on the player. So drag this out and type in spawn emitter at location. The location that we're after is going to be the player's location. So we're going to get this from the third person character. And we're simply going to type in get actor location drag it into here don't worry about the rotation for now and then for the emitter template just choose the particle system that you want to use so just go through these in your content browser go to effects and then ability and then just go to heal and look for the one that you're after uh, i think you could use the potion one actually that looks pretty cool um yeah so let's go with that so let's use the potion one so type in potion so heal, potion, and that's all good. If we hit compile now, press play, and if we run up to this, it should spawn it on our player. So what I'm going to do quickly, because it's not disappearing and you can't really see it, I'm going to tell it to destroy the actor when you actually collide with it. So I'm going to go back into my blueprint real quick, open up my character, uh, not my character, but my health pickup, and at the end of this, we're just going to tell it to quickly destroy the actor and then compile and then press play again run up to it and you can see it's not currently working now the reason why it's not working is because the well it is working but the particle systems are very similar so what I mean by that is because they've both got love hearts it's sort of hard to differentiate between the two so I've just run over this and you can still it's still gonna be here um, there's a few issues with collision. We need to make our box a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do that real quick. So let's quickly do that. So open this up. Go to our viewport. And let's just make our box really, really big. So grab this. Make it nice and big. Absolutely massive. Compile it. Jump in there. And then you can see we've got this massive box now. Run into it. And you can see now that it should be destroying it. But the reason why it's not destroying it is because there's a bit of an issue in our code. So this destroy bit is only happening if they've gone over the maximum value. So what we need to do is we actually need to hook up our spawn emitter and destroy actor. So these ones over here up to false as well. So it gets played either way. If we press play now walk into it it's going to spawn our second emitter at the player's location which is great and having done this we can go back in here and then we can just proceed to make this little box a little bit smaller for testing purposes sometimes issues do happen and i'm not going to worry about editing it out for now um, just so you guys can see sort of the the process and some of the things that I look at when a mistake does happen but you can see now then it's gonna spawn this love heart once you collect it which is absolutely great and you have now essentially got a very simple health pickup and you can see in the bottom left hand corner that it is going to give you that extra health so just so you can see that I'm gonna add in three of these so you can see my health going all the way up to full so I'm gonna press play run up to the first one it's gone up, the second one it's gone up and the third one has also made it go up as well. Anyway guys that's pretty much everything for our simple health pickup. Once again guys thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.